Bless us in peace to you guys in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, King of King, Lord of Lords. I pray that you guys are blessed today. I pray that you guys are having an excellent day. No matter what you go through, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how hard the circumstances may uh, be or what you know, the enemy and his wickedness is trying to attack you. Because I do know that the closer you go to Christ, the more you will be attacked, the more you will have issues, the more things will seem out of order for you. But it's okay to be uncomfortable because if you if you're being if you're having all these things happen to you, if you're not being persecuted, and if you're just sitting on the sidelines, then what are you doing for the kingdom? Are you being used to glorify the most high? Uh, we have to go through something. The you know the disciples went through something. The apostles went through something. The prophets went through something. Jesus ultimately, we know he he was a perfect sacrifice. He went through it worse than ever, all of us. He because he took on all the sins of the world to redeem us by his blood. Hallelujah. So we must we must understand that this is a war, spiritual war. Um, at times it can get physical too. It will be physical. It'll be mind draining. You know, you you may feel you may face ailments and sickness and things like that. But you gotta have faith and trust in the Lord Jesus. Trust in Yahusha to guide you through all things. No matter what you face, no matter what circumstances you go through, continue to trust in Him. We know the enemies out here sending, you know, individuals our way and and and, and you know people who who don't serve Jesus Christ. And, you know, who don't have the Holy Spirit, he knows he's going to use them. So you got to not be surprised. You know, continue to live for him. Spread the gospel. Don't be afraid to spread his word. We are called to be disciples. You know, Matthew 28, 19 says, go out to all the nations, uh, you know, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, baptizing in my name, in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, being disciples to all nations to glorify the Most High, glorify Jesus Christ. That's what we're called to do each and every single day. Another scripture that tags on to that that I wanted to go over with you is Matthew 9, 37 and 38. And it says, then he said to his taught ones, that's what that's what disciple means, taught ones. He said, the harvest truly is great. It's a big harvest. There's a lot of people out there to that we have to reach and we haven't reached them in small numbers. We're few in numbers, especially now in this culture. Although there are a lot of believers out there, a lot of followers of the way out there and the taught ones out there, but not many people are putting in the work. So it says, but the workers are few. Pray then that the most, the master of his, of, of harvest would send out workers to his harvest. So basically the master of the harvest is Jesus Christ, you know, pray to him that he works, pray that day he puts it in their hearts to go out there and to do the work because the harvest is, is many, but we have few workers. We don't have a lot of people standing up for Jesus Christ, wanting to proclaim the gospel. Now is the time not to have any fear. Now is the time to go bold for your faith, doing it in love, standing true on the word without compromise, brothers and sisters. You know, the devil and his evil wickedness and his minions, they're not trying to stop. They're, they're going hard. They're trying to stand up for their wicked agendas and their evil um, wickedness to try to overthrow the Most High. But you believe, you brothers and sisters, you guys got the Most High. You got the Holy Spirit in you. Greater is he that is in you than it is in who is in the world. So you're, you're greater than anything that the enemy throws at you. We have the divine power of our Creator, the Most High, Yah. Uh, the supreme being, the supreme God over all things so we can work in authority. We can walk in authority and not be ashamed of anything. Hallelujah. So that's something that you guys need to remember. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Preach the gospel. Do it in love. You know, don't think that you're, it's a personal attack because it's not. It's a spiritual war. So when you get things coming at you, random things happening to you, random things from people, family members, all kinds of little distractions coming at you here and there. You know, even with members of your own family, man, you're going to go through stuff. You're going to go through trials, ups and downs. But don't don't get, you know, don't let it bother you. Don't don't stay down, you know, stay up, stay positive. Remember, you know, Jesus Christ said that family members will be at each other. You know, um, it will be a he'll be a sword. He'll divide people because he wants to separate the people who belong to him, his sheep and the people who don't belong to him, which belong to the enemy, Satan, Lucifer. So stay strong, stay stay encouraged, keep your hearts and minds focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. Never give up, stay strong, endure to the end, and have faith no matter what the cost may be. 
trust in Jesus Christ, Yahushua, with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And don't break rank. Don't break rank. Be like a good soldier. Endure hard suffering. Endure all things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. This is Brother Ray here. Bless us in peace. You all stay encouraged. I love you guys. Stay positive. Focus on the kingdom and keep enduring. Hallelujah. Amen.